Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and today I'm going to show you how to add multiple accounts to one iTunes library. Now, technically you can't add multiple accounts to one iTunes library, but there's a little bit of a workaround that we can do and I'll show you in just a second. But just to give you a brief overview, um, what we're going to do is place the library in a public location because by default, the iTunes library puts it under your account under the computer and multiple users can't access your iTunes library, if that makes sense. I think that'll make sense more in just a second. So let's go ahead and hop into the computer here. I have iTunes already fired up. Okay. So, and also I'm, I'm signed into my account. So if we go up to store, see here, view account, Joey Biagas, that's my account. Or else it'll say sign in. But anyway, let's take a look at this specific album here. If I right click and show in Finder just so we can see the path where this is at, where this file is located. It's actually located on my external hard drive. So it's not under music and iTunes because everything under the iTunes folder under your music is connected to your account on the computer. So other accounts can't access that. So that's why we need to place your library in a public folder, whether it's on the computer or an external, it doesn't really matter. Um, that way multiple accounts can access them. But we also have to make iTunes speak to that specific folder as well. So you'll see what I mean in a second. If we go back to iTunes here, um, you wanna cruise up to iTunes, go to preferences, okay? Make sure you're on the advanced tab here. Um, and then we want to change the folder location. So this is basically, you're letting iTunes know, that, hey, I want to read all my music off of this location, okay? So let's go ahead and hit change. And then again, my hard drive and whether, or wherever your location is. It doesn't have to be on an external, again. iTunes, iTunes Media, okay? And then you can hit okay at the bottom here. Perfect. So just to kind of test this out, if we go up to store here and I sign out of my account. Okay, let's switch back to my library. Okay. Oh, didn't work. Let's try that again. Library. There we go. Now I did lose some things because I don't have everything linked up to that location, but as you can see, this same album that we were looking at before is still here. And if we right click and we do show and finder, it's going to be the exact same location. So there you go. As you can see, it's the same location as we are previously looking at. So you just got to make sure that they're both talking to each other um, as far as where your music is located and where iTunes is looking. Okay. So there you guys go. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. And thank you for watching.